What's up, guys? It is time for the after show of Love & Hip Hop Miami, season three, episode one. You guys, it was a lot we had to talk about. Um, Trina sends her mom off in style beautifully. Trick Daddy has a new girlfriend. How is Joy gonna be feeling about that? And also, Amara and her release party, guys, it was a lot going on. It, it really went out with a bang. Stay tuned, we're gonna talk about it now. I'm Maria Menunos, and you're tuned in to After Buzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. What's up, guys? We are back with a new season of Love & Hip Hop Miami. I am your host, Tyra Prude. Um, to the left of me, I have the amazing Alfred Thomas, a.k.a. Alfie. How are you? I'm doing great, Tyra. That's good. Yeah. I'm doing great, too. So we're new faces, so, you know, I hope you guys enjoy us and tune in to the after show because we love to break down Love & Hip Hop Miami. So mm -hmm. let's go ahead and get into some overall thoughts. How did you feel about this whole episode and just the 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 renewing of Love and Hip Hop Miami season three? Well, I for one was very excited to see this episode. I love Love and Hip Hop Miami because I'm from Miami, Florida. Yes. I moved here okay. in 05, so it's dear, dear to the heart. Yes. Uh, so this is, watching this is like home. Yeah, watching this is just sitting back and I can finally feel like I'm at the, my house in California. Okay. That's what it is. That's yeah. what's up. Yeah, um, I thought it was a good episode. Um, I mean, you know, Love & Hip Hop always brings the drama, always mm -hmm. brings the heat right off bat. Yeah. So, you know, I just feel like I hadn't missed the beat. It was a lot going on from Trick Daddy drama mm -hmm. to Amara. I just couldn't keep up. And now I'm ready to dive in. So what about you? I'm ready to dive in. Let's okay, get to it. So let's talk about Trina. So um, we know um, Trina's mother passed away from cancer. Mm -hmm. And the beginning of the show, um, they opened up with her beautiful funeral ceremony. And, you know... Um, we just kind of saw a bit of what Trina is going through and how she is mm -hmm. trying to um, cope with her mother's death. And she's saying, like, I will never get over it. You know, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not going to be OK for the rest of my life. Um, how I mean, how was it watching that and just that whole I don't know, like, I feel like she's a very strong person to be able to do this on camera exactly. and deal with this. And on a show like Love and Hip Hop, would yeah. you have been able to do something like that? It's it's interesting because in today's society, uh we like to see the truth behind the artistry. Mm -hmm. We like to see the real you, and it's becoming to where it's not so cliche to have that in forefront. Mm -hmm. So it, it made me feel a little weird, only because that's a real private time for right. someone to go through something and to be that strong to where you can allow yourself to be vulnerable. You know, mm -hmm. kudos to her. It it was a great moment for uh, love and hip hop history as far as seeing what her mom meant to so many people, mm -hmm. how they came together and mm -hmm. really supported her. Outside the cast, of the drama, you, know, outside you can of still be there, a family. You know? And, you know, the people you love, they are always going to be a part of you. Mm -hmm. And seeing her struggle with that and seeing mm -hmm. how getting back to work or, you know, allowing it to be, is not ever a second thought. And who knows how long it takes for somebody to deal with bereavement. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I really commend her for it. And I mean, even though it may be hard for her, this mm. is it can be helping just people out there who may be dealing with the same thing. And like you said, for her to, you know, get back to work and, you know, just jump right back in, that just shows that she is the baddest, like she says. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, we are so sorry for your loss, mm -hmm. Trina. Um, but with that, we um, at the funeral, we saw a few new faces. Um, yeah. We saw MJ, who is Amara's new boyfriend, mm. who is also Shay's brother. Yeah. Um, and we got to see kind of how this relationship is unfolding i mean literally unfolding with the towel yeah. <laughs> okay if you were living with your girlfriend and you knew that her mom was in the house would you be walking around in the house with your towel on or well was i'm that gonna say far? this there was two sides of the coin one i was like oh you know they want to present him in a cool way for the ladies you know yeah she got You're right. it candy. was all so about the show the st i'll give that for stage points but um, I'm from Miami, so there's a lot of Caribbean folk. There are a lot mm -hmm. of islanders. So being free is not, you know, necessarily uh, an odd thing, depending okay. on how they were raised. Uh -huh. Sometimes their babies run around naked to right. the grown up old people running around okay. naked, and yes, it's like, yes, oh, yes, that's just culture my, background. I need because I had Haitian neighbors, and sometimes yeah. I saw their mama naked, but it was by accident. But right. it's still like but it's just, it's just you in my is. house. I'm walking, doing my thing, whatever. Yeah. So. 
Yeah, that's what I had to say about that. I said, yeah, that's crib. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I, because I was watching it like, uh-uh, ain't no way, first of all. Mommy. Like she said, like her mom said, you're going to respect me. Mm -hmm. And I just would have been like, look. My mom is here. I know we doing this whole little living together situation. Yeah, but at least he was working out. You know what I'm saying? He right. had the guns. He's, yeah, oh, he he's looks okay. Nice. So, you See, know what I'm okay, saying? Good, good choice. We we are here beautiful for women, this beautiful relationship. Men, all for y'all. Yes. Yes, yeah, so um, speaking of beautiful men and women, we have beautiful people who tune into After Buzz, and mm -hmm. we like to let you guys know how you can keep up. Um, Alfie, do you want to let them well, know yeah, how? Before we go on to the next topic, hey guys, we want to let you know we appreciate you guys for making us the ESPN of Talk TV. You can just go and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, leave a comment, leave a like, give us all those stars. You know, the After Buzz team is built on us learning how to be great journalists, Mm -hmm. us being able to build our own platforms as well as just get to know you guys and we are all for the love and we love you guys for being a part of this after buzz family yes. and after buzz journey yes so, okay journey and yes said, dean thank you josh you. um so. yes we love you guys we couldn't you know be here without you guys support all the viewership and all of that so keep tuning in we love doing this for you guys um okay so we gotta now this is when it got a little juicy we gotta get into this tea Mm -hmm. So, Trick Daddy. My okay. Dog, Trick Daddy. First of all, he clearly has not missed the beat. Okay. Nope. He is out here still living his best life. Uh -huh. So, we see Trick Daddy at home. He's preparing for his, you know, community you know event for his restaurant Sunday. And it's revealed that he has a new girlfriend. Um, his girlfriend is named, her name is Nikki. Mm -hmm. um, and she's younger. Yes, yeah, Which is young, what he likes, apparently. And she's two years celibate. Yeah, because she's, you know, well, I thought that was an interesting dynamic. Um, With Trick Daddy, uh, yeah. Yeah, because I mean, every now and then you need something different. I'm sure, yeah. you know, Trick with the Eater Booty Gang and all that. You know what I'm saying? He's had his fair share of, of wild stallions. Seeing him with something that is just refreshing. You uh -huh. can see the smile on his face. He had a glow. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I felt like... Which is the other thing we could get into with being married and having a girlfriend and being, you know, trying uh -huh. to get a divorce and being separated is, is too much for my world. But at the same time, it's very interesting to see how through that he could still find joy. Joy ain't a good woman. I don't She's know. a good woman. I mean, she is a good woman. Yes, well, you not wrong. Yeah. Oh, you said joy. I'm like, it's funny because joy yeah, is next to the wife. Which is um, funny. <laughs> ain't got um, no joy in joy. I don't know. I just, I mean, we'll see how this unfolds, mm -hmm. but... We'll get into that later. It, I don't necessarily know if Trick Daddy is really ready for this because you saw kind of later how oh, they yeah. talked about how the whole, you know, oh, do you still have feelings for Joy? But we'll, we'll tap into that. So anyway, we were introduced to Nikki. Um, and yeah, she is, um, she's young, she's youthful, and she had a crazy encounter at this community event. I mean, mm -hmm. she was like ambushed. Now, if you just got into a relationship and you know that your friend group and crowd is crazy, would you just send them off like that? Like, Trick Daddy was literally, he was just like, okay, um, go meet the people. Knowing that Bobby was there, mm -hmm. knowing it's Shay, mm -hmm. knowing it's at the whole circle, knowing they was going to eat her, literally. Yeah. Like, you know, would you have done that? <laughs> it's, it's Okay, it goes back to a Miami type of guy thing. And okay. if you live in that, I got baby mamas and, you know, all kinds of different mm -hmm. tiers of kids and relationships, it gets to a point where they just going to have to get along. You, it, that's my family like you said that's my family yeah. she's either gonna be able to swim or she's gonna sink you know it's one of the things where he knew he had her back and pushing her out there one lets her know that I trust you to handle your own business mm -hmm. you know he clearly sees she pulled can up handle when, it, she when, can when handle they called for him he pulled up you know he was there for her and in the sense of she gotta hold her own or else it's gonna not work regardless right. you know what I'm saying if there's any hope you're gonna have to be able to stand on your own two feet meet mm -hmm. the bobbies who are gonna instigate which throughout this whole Listen, show Bobby, he okay. was in everybody's mess and I thought that was hilarious everybody's mess and he made sure to make sure that everybody knew about each other's Bang. mess boom shots <laughs> fired every time I was like so you wait no I don't know if he said it one of them was like so you know he's married right I'm like dang hello what do I do for a living you know like they just good. went right to it but it's good put it out on the table get it done so we can get past this if we're gonna be friends I'd rather you know all the business see uh uh and she I handled disagree. it well because I mean yes she handled it well because I'm sure she she's up to speed she yeah. knows what happened but I just feel like in a situation maybe I'm more traditional in a sense but I would rather you be there to kind of like direct the conversation introduce me so I'm not 
put in this crazy mess that I already know your well, life is already in. But if he does it that way, if they're going to say what they're going to say, they're going to say it to you right then, and then he can come and rectify it. True. Rather than well, what, what be next did. to you, they're going to tailor make it for him being there. Well, not these group of people. Probably mm -hmm. still would have said it anyway. But most regular people would not say what they're going to say mm -hmm. face to face to you. I like it. I loved it. Okay. That showed me community. That showed me it a showed different kind of ghetto love. You know what I'm saying? That was definitely ghetto love. That's, that's ghetto love. That's ghetto love. Yeah. And for Joy to, this is when she first met Joy. Yeah. Um, I expected that to kind of be more dramatic, but I feel like it was still kind of just like, it was real chill. Well, because they've been through so much. It gets to a point, again, where mm -hmm. you like, if y'all been through that kind of ring of real fights and real, you know tussling on, you know, getting along or not, mm -hmm. you get to a point where you get, not past it, but you get too too much time has gone by. Yeah. So now I got this new girl, you got whatever you got going on. She's happy he's got a girl just so he not in her business. He clearly hasn't given up on her in some kind of interesting way, but that's mm -hmm. back to that ghetto love. He want to still be married that to her, love. have his situation. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if I can And they all pregnant. at the cookout and all eat the same table. It happens. <laughs> It happens. Okay, a lot of strong so, families built off of that. I'm just saying. I know that's right. Okay, so that, that's how Miami gets down. Okay. Not just Miami, but... Well, you know, in general, but we're talking about Miami. So, um, yeah, that was pretty interesting. But I was I was excited to see this whole... I, I love, like, entrepreneurship, and I love mm -hmm. when people with multiple streams of income and mm -hmm. just, you know, taking new, like, different paths. I mean, we know Trick Daddy is a rapper. So it was really cool to see him, you know, the behind the scenes of his restaurant. We saw mm -hmm. that Alvin, Trina's ex-assistant, is a worker there now. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, let me just say, uh, message, uh, <laughs> depending on how you move, you may be put in a situation where you humble and you got to get that uh, I'm a deep fryer position job. There was I felt that was something dope to highlight mm -hmm. because uh, many of us have taken tumbles and falls in life mm -hmm. and careers or whatever. And you got to be a certain type of person to, you know, tighten your, your belt straps and just go mm -hmm. ahead and get into work, whatever that work offer to you may be. So, you know, he still had his... His sass and his flair to want to get yeah. messed, but I like the fact that he was man enough to get a job, and Trick was uh, a cool enough guy that even though he had a situation with Trina, he still, the man got to eat, you know what I'm saying? He didn't get away of, of yeah. that thing. Okay, well, I I feel it. That's boss, um, boss stuff. Boss stuff, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of boss stuff, we had a lot of boss moves from the ladies. Word. So um, there was the release party, mm -hmm. and then there was also um, oh wow, my 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 thought is slipping. You give it a um, JoJo, was it JoJo? Shay and JoJo, you put all that in one. <laughs> That was a nice little triangle. Um, yeah, so we had the release party, and then there was another event. There was the um, the fashion event with Tommy Hilfiger and yep. all of that, mm -hmm. and we we saw a lot of drama unfold. But let's just go ahead and get into that release party. So at the release party, um, Amara she is um, she was doing a release for her new song "There's No Way," mm -hmm. which first of all was really good. Really good. I like the song. I love the whole little you know vibe to it. She's it's it's an island vibe. Polished yeah. artist. She is well polished person. Oh, yeah. She handles things as it, we yeah. get into it. And, and that's what I love to see on these franchises. Like, I feel like we tend to forget the overall purpose of Love & Hip Hop. And mm -hmm. it is for people to go in there and, you know, put their career out there and, you know, build a fan base and things like that. But with all the drama that's kind of gotten mixed in, it's, you know, kind of unfolded differently. Yeah. Um, but it was just cool. It was dope to see her, like, go out there, do her thing, you know, have her people there and, mm -hmm. you know, all of that. But unfortunately, it went left. Um, when Shay found out that thanks to Bobby, had, thanks to thanks to Bobby, that oh Bobby, what are we gonna do with you? That um, JoJo was gonna be at the party. Mm -hmm. So, do you think that Shay kind of went a little overboard about the whole situation? Yes and no. Okay. There are petty people who do petty things. I believe that was a stigmatic situation where she's. Hurt because JoJo didn't want to be a friend anymore because JoJo wanted to date Pleasure. Mm -hmm. And then this whole, I think the adding into this whole feeling about Amara and JoJo is really just her revenge on keeping a negative vibe going. Because it's like, 
it seems like they Amara wants to just be cordial, get past it. I mean, you don't forget, but there's no reason to always be trying to turn up or mm-hmm. get mad when you see somebody who's got time for that other than children. Mm-hmm. So with her catching the hissy fits and doing all that, I see she's very territorial. She's very prideful. Yes. And that is good qualities in a friend. So she's being an amazing friend in ways, but mm-hmm. she's also being that friend who needs everything to go her way. And that's not in the end being an easy friend to have. You still mm-hmm. could be a dope friend because, you know, if stuff goes down, she'll jump over there and have the wig snatch like she's done all the other women. We know she is about it, okay? Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. I thought, I mean, it was, I, I get what you're saying because mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie, I can be that friend. I can be, like, if you're my best friend, like, I, I can be territorial. Like, it's just, you know, what comes with it. But in a way, I kind of feel like she was kind of selfish. Mm-hmm. I feel like she kind of took that moment from her. Like, yes, it was messy up how JoJo did both of them but you know it's not the time and the place like don't attack me at my release party and you know get upset when I don't know I'm just you know I'm just testing the waters and we ended up seeing that those waters turned into I don't know a hurricane Mm. because Needless to say, she didn't really necessarily betray her friendship. Um, we saw how, you know, they finally did have their, JoJo and Amara had their come together, Kumbaya. And she told her, like, you know, I wanted to, you know, rekindle this relationship. And then after I looked at previous interviews and stuff, I was like, you know what? I don't want you to be my friend no more. Uh, message, that went left. That is unhealthy. If you want to get past something, the last thing you, you do, do is, is go read back. the letters, go back, see the videos. It's almost like you're sending yourself up to either A, have to swallow a weird pill for no reason because you're trying to forgive. Mm -hmm. Or B, do what happened, not really forgive. And then Shay's feelings, I think, amped it up to even more solidify that decision. And I believe JoJo was sincere, uh, even though, like Amara said, the timing was off or whatever. It was for the show. I don't know how their lives go or whatever. But in the sense of having a proper platform where there's security and it's not like, you know, things can happen based off Mm -hmm. of energies, I, I wasn't necessarily against her doing it that way. Uh, JoJo's been through a lot. She seems to be, she has. you know, she lost the business, got the uh, pleasure, didn't want to mm-hmm. stay with her. So, but she did accuse Amara of Roots. So you can't be someone who's hurting someone's reputation or coming against someone and expect for them, it's not on them to, to owe you anything of forgiveness. So mm-hmm. you just got to hope that it goes right. And if it doesn't, wish she did the right move, just leave. Just go away. Oh, she left. She left. With um, Big Larry. <laughs> with Big Larry, her new boo. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I I mean, I to me personally, it was just like it was kind of just like how those tables turn and that karma for JoJo. Mm-hmm. Because in to me, I just kind of felt like I don't have anything left, so I'm gonna rekindle this. Like I don't necessarily know if it was sincere. Like I know Amara said that they were friends before the show and mm-hmm. all of that. But I mean it was kind of ironic how she came crawling back when her life kind of took a turn. And I mean, she got the Tom Hill figure thing, but yeah, I she mean, did. And and then you gotta her count your bit, blessings. That's another yeah. thing. Sometimes you gotta let things go. Amara needed to let it go for her reasons, and I think even JoJo needed to uh, let it go, and that's a life lesson to a lot of the people watching. Is like it, some things fizzle out, but you have joy. She has her album release. You have the clothing line thing. Yeah. Maybe later down the line, y'all get back together. Shouts out to MJ for trying to you know handle his sister mm-hmm. in Amara's situation, but step out. You know what I'm saying? That was a real brother's way of going about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, maybe I don't know. I just think maybe it's a little, you know, love and hip hop. It's you have it's unpredictable. It's it was a little, it was a little Caribbean motive folk. about it. Maybe Passion. she, you know, she probably did genuinely want that friendship back, or it's just like I lost everything. I need to, you know, get all my people back. I'm lonely. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that Word. was that was pretty eventful. Um, so at also at the release party, Trina um, Julian shows up. And we learned a little bit about this history. So we know that Julian pretty much stole $300,000 from her, like messed up her whole, like, you know, album, you know, release, Mm -hmm. all of that. And Trina is pissed. And then on top of that, they were supposed to be close, hasn't reached out about the mom, hasn't done anything just to show his support of what she's going through. I was actually surprised that Trina held it together. How about you? Oh, yeah. Uh, She got um, real... Uh, mob type class like yeah. she knows how to express herself uh, but keep it professional keep it classy or however you want to say it mm-hmm. uh, the Julian thing uh, I feel 
any time anything over twenty dollars is hard to deal with for any person. So <laughs> three hundred K and you know when it comes to managers, artists, those relationships tend to get really close. So mm-hmm. for them, the reason why they tripping so much joy, the whole family tripping is because he's like family. Exactly. The amount of money that they probably made together is probably way more than the three hundred K, but at the same time, just being in a situation where you can't trust somebody, you can't trust somebody mm-hmm. with something foundationally like money is uh can drive anybody crazy. For sure. And then this is my career. You don't yeah. play about that. Like, this is my passion. This is what I do. You just don't play. Um, but to say this, it's hard for me to believe. Maybe there's just a real misunderstanding that they have to mm. sit down and talk about. Because it's hard for me to feel like if he's been there for you for that long and been in your family like that, that he would be as manipulative to mm-hmm. try to take advantage of your mother's death and yes, it could come off like that, and you might be super emotional, so it just seems like that. Mm-hmm. So I just want to see how the season plays out, give the brother a chance, because, you know, don't nobody want something like that just put on them, especially in this kind of industry, you know, is yeah. one of those things where it's very sensitive. And then later on in the season, you see how it affects him and Amara, because yeah. reputation is everything. Reputation <laughs> is everything, and um, hopefully he, they can, you know, figure this out and get it all together. Mm-hmm. But I am so excited. I think it this episode went off with a bang. Yeah. Um, we ha- It's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot. Um, but before we go, let's go ahead and get into our news and gossip. After Buzz TV. So we actually have some very cool news and gossip. We actually, I have a... Um, celebrity on my panel. Where? <laughs> oh, where is he? Right here. <laughs> um, so yeah, Alfred is going to go ahead and tell you guys a little bit of news and gossip. Okay. It's very interesting. Uh, well, the news and gossip is <laughs> on Netflix. Uh, Mara La Negra is starring in a film called Fall Girls. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got a wonderful chance to play her husband in that film. So Yay! you will see me out for another time to stick it on that thing. Uh, it was great. I met her. I met Julian. So it was interesting when I saw we had this show. I was like, oh, why not? This will be oh, fun. I'm wow. kind of connected. I know she's a great person in person. Yeah. Julian was a wonderful guy in that, from what I saw, a great manager. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a footage films production. Uh, we had a great time. It's a very funny film. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that. when can when can we expect it? Is it out already? It's out now. Or? Yeah. Okay. It cool. was out a couple of days ago. So you could go and just fall girls. Fall girls. Holla okay, guys. You heard and me here. Girl. We have a celebrity. Make sure you guys you know support his film and yeah. Nice. Um. Okay. Cool. So let's go ahead and get into our special segment. So this week we are gonna just talk about the best OMG moments. Whatever was the craziest moment that happened on the show. So. Oh, <laughs> Josh, I am here for that. Oh my God. Literally, Go oh team. hell no. Nah. See Go what happens when you have a team. Yes. Okay, what was your oh hell no nah moment? That's what we're going to call it now. Okay, so my <laughs> oh, oh hell no <laughs> moment would be I think Amara decided not to be friends uh, with JoJo. I thought that was oh, like for a sure. super setup. I for mean, you sure. invite her to the joint, you get her to dress up, come out with a boo thing, and then you just be like, nah, like, I, we can't be friends no anymore. Man. I feel like you <laughs> wasted a gas. Uh, gas is expensive. Um, in California, uh, South is a little bit cheaper, but still, it's, it's gas money. Yeah, that that sucks. That was really bad. Um, my moment is going to have to be when Trick Daddy set up um, our girl Nikki and had her just threw her to the wolves. Yeah, I don't and, mind that. And had her go out and introduce herself and knew that Bobby was going to be the main one stirring the pot. Mm-hmm. It was just a lot. Um my that was oh, not cool. I did not like that. That was a whole oh hell not moment. But Nikki, I commend you. I respect you. You held it down. You didn't let him see you sweat, girl. Yes, boss moves. Um, so go, let's go ahead and get into some predictions then. Your After Buzz okay. TV predictions. So we saw um the preview. We saw the Puerto Rican princess is mm. back, Jocelyn Hernandez. Yep. Um, we just saw a lot of things going on. Between, Risk out of jail. Woo-hoo. Yes, we saw um Amara and um Julian going into this argument, trying mm. to kind of get get her up to speed of how the kind of person is. Just a lot is getting ready to happen in this season. Boy. What do you predict just from off of that little preview? Uh, I think Amara is probably going to be the first one to put hands on somebody. 
Uh, oh, okay. I think Trick is going to not divorce Joy. Mm. And they might try to rekindle something. Or it's going to be like towards the end of the season, you're going to think of that. Mm. That's some deep. That's short term, long term. I'll let you know. Okay. Boy. I feel it. Um, my predictions. Um, wow. You kind of stole it. <laughs> I think um, I think Amara is going to have the, a change of heart. And she is going to rekindle her relationship with JoJo. Mm. Um, and it's going to cause a riffraff between um, Shay and her, clearly. And then it's going to involve MJ. And it's just going to be a whole little like shamble. Because she said on the show, like... It's going to either be between, you know, you're going to be put in a situation where it's your girl or your sister, you know, all of that. Um, and then what else? Julian is going to, that, that whole situation is going to work itself out. It is. He's a good guy. I hope so. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, wanted, I thought about him being my manager, so he's... he's he does a lot of You're great biased. things. No, I'm just like... I'm not biased, no, because <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. You know what I mean? You still, you still. You know what right. I'm saying? Yikes. <laughs> well, um, I hope you guys aren't stealing on our after show. Yeah. Anyway, um, yes, so Still that's all views. for today. We will be back next um, Tuesday, so make Word. sure you guys tune in. Alfred, where can we find you on social media? You can find me at Alfred Nolan Thomas, the number two, at uh, IG and TikTok. Okay, yes, TikTok. Um, and you guys can find me on all social media platforms at underscore Tyra Prude. Thank you guys for tuning in. We will be back next week. See you Five later. on Netflix. Yes, make buy. sure you tune in to that. Uh, I play Marcus. <laughs> it's funny. We <laughs> Our gang. founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first. We're the biggest in the world. And we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.